Hey everyone, welcome back to another Iron Man from Scratch video. We're sailing pretty smoothly towards unlocking Kingdom of Miscellanea for more resources, but there's plenty more to do along the way. So many useful unlocks still to get, new teleports to bolster our farm runs, skilling equipment, achievement diaries to knock out, and maybe even a new weapon upgrade. Let's just get straight into it today guys, let's get cracking. So we left off the previous episode just doing a bit of a mining grind. We knocked out all the way from levels 58, 59 to 60. Didn't pick up the sand from the grinder for now, just don't want to spend the money, but it's there for when we need it in the future. So before we get into the grind today, I was just knocking out my good old farming contracts, and this is an example of why we pre-plant stuff. You can see in my inventory I already had a seed pack, I just handed in a different farming contract, and now we got a maple tree straight away, which takes a few hours to grow, but because we've already planted it, we can just run over and knock out back-to-back -back contracts just like that. Hmm, <laughs> Guildmaster Jane having her revenge after that back-to-back. -back. And of course, gotta keep the birdhouse runs up as well, that's level 58 Hunter, just quietly creeping its way up in the background. Okay, it's time to get cracking on the progress. We're gonna start off killing a few jackals and vultures here, we're looking for the bones for Rag and Bone Man 2 from both of them, and also killing the vultures will be an easy diary task, just like that. And that is the jackal bone under our belt. And also the Vulture's Wing. We have such terrible luck with these Rag and Bone <laughs> drops. They're meant to be 1 and 4. We went all the way to 8 kills. That's twice the drop rate. Uh, at least we're using our bad RNG on stuff like this. <laughs> the horror of 8 Vulture's kills. Whatever shall I do? Just picking up our Ancient Staff as well for the steep old price of 80k. And let's get the questing underway. We're going to start with Anarka's Lament today. That's a pretty straightforward one. It's nice when it's all self-contained in a small little area like this. Good little spread of XP there and the Camulet of course, which gives us a teleport back to this area. Not that we need it right now. Let's move straight on. Just got to bop a goat real quick to grab its horn. We're going to need the dust in a moment. Another diary task, having Zahir clean a herb for us. And a second one for burning some logs on a mare's balcony. I'm not sure why that one's a hard task. I guess it's just the fire making level to do the U log. So this shop over here in Nada is quite handy because you can buy yourself some rune plate legs or a rune plate skirt if you prefer. The only problem as you can see is people seem to overstock it quite a bit selling stuff here. I'm not sure why. So it means you can't buy it as an Iron Man. Now I pulled a little dodgy. <laughs> I bought my main account over here just to buy the stock down to one so that I could actually buy the item myself. I think that's still fair play though. It's not like I've transferred something from my main to the Iron Man. It's meant to be in the shop and it's meant to be purchasable. It's just a nuisance that people block it off by overselling. With our little shopping adventure out of the way, it's straight into the next quest, Spirits of the Elid. Just while we're strolling along, knock out a little achievement diary. This is why we needed the goat horn dust to make a combat potion. This ancient mace we just picked up from another slice of ham recently is coming handy here. I wasn't sure what else to use as my crush weapon, but it's doing the job quite nicely. <laughs> and of course, a little bit more of mid-quest in achievement diaries. Firstly, catching an orange salamander, and then just cutting the cactus to refill our water skin. This part is actually part of the quest. Coming down the ravine to visit the genie is yet another diary task. Dear Genie, I hope that whoever's watching the video right now will drop a like because it really helps out and is greatly appreciated. And that is Spirits of the Elod complete. Another quest off the list. 46 prayer from that as well. Very, very nice. And a bonus combat level on top of it. Our desert tour continues straight into the quest that I just cannot pronounce properly. Ichthlorin's Ik little helper. It's such a struggle. I also just realized I forgot to bring the spare water skin for the quest itself. So I'm gonna have to run back and grab that real quick. Okay, so this is one of those quest obstacles that can be a real pain in the backside if you're unlucky. Let's see how we go. Yep, that's a... Uh, oh dear, here we go. Just to rub salt into the wound, you need to have a chunk of run energy to do this job as well, so it makes you wait if you haven't got any left. <laughs> uh, so this is how it's going to be, is it? That's the second fail. There's number three! <laughs> okay. Fourth time's the charm, we finally got over it. The worst part is, I'm pretty sure we have to do this jump again in the future for the quest, so uh, let's hope this was the worst of it out of the way. Yep, okay, it's just as I remember, we're back for another round of jumping to finish off the quest. Ah, okay, thank goodness we got through straight away this time, we can just wrap up the quest and move on with our lives. And that is Ichthlorin's little helper complete, third quest down for the day. We're gonna go straight into starting up contact as well while we're here. Okay, this is the part where we have to go back to Alcrid and see Osman, so we're gonna leave it here and go move on to another quest. Now this, this is the inventory of someone who's doing a bit of multi-questing and multitasking. That is uh, quite the mess. And the downside, of course, is you never know when you're going to forget something, but we'll see how we go. I'm not normally one for fashion skate, but I must say this fire-making cape and even the shield looks pretty good with the initiate armor, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So as I was saying, we're about to multitask a bunch of things, and we've obviously got all these clues in the inventory. Have a guess and see if you can work out what we're about to do. 
I'll give you a hint. The first thing we're going to do is start Scorpion Catcher. That's a freebie for you. Okay, we're done with that step of Scorpion Catcher. On to the next location. Uh, that was a misclick. I meant Berthorpe, not the Court Beast. So in Berthorpe, we're going to start up a tale of two cats. Just going to stroll our way downtown to the altar and pop by for a diary task. And that's a Falador diary task there, praying at the altar with the initiate on. Okay, so we've gone from a wander down from Berthop for Taylor Two Cats down to the altar to prayer and get the diary task. Now we're at Tavoli Dungeon. This is where the multitasking really comes to the forefront. You may remember previously we had saved up a few quests, pretty much queued up a few tasks that are required to be done at Tavoli Dungeon, and we're going to knock them all out in one go here. First stop in our little dungeon tour is going to be the Black Knight's Fortress to do the wanted quest. Ah, how am I meant to talk to this guy? What's going on? I can't shake him. Ah! I can't get these guys to stop attacking me, so we're going to have to try this the old-fashioned way and just kill him and quickly talk to the guy. Okay, that's our wanted step done. On with the tour. And of course, I forgot to grab the dusty key from the Black Knight's Fortress. Back we go. Radio, got the key. Back we go. Okay, after that little circus, we've got our dusty key and we can continue onwards into the dungeon. So we're just going to bop a few of these baby blue dragons and get some bones for Rag and Bone Man 2 again. There's our baby dragon bone locked in. Just grab ourselves a spare dusty key, why not? Might as well, just in case we lose one later on. And then fish our lava eel for hero's quest. Okay, we've got our lava eel, and you can see here in the quest helper, you can't burn it, so one will do. On to the next bit. Uh, I knew we'd get poison, I should have brought an anti-poison. Ah, well, we're back to the first quest, scorpion catcher, just gotta catch this little guy. Okay, we got the scorpion. Last but not least, we're gonna finish up the bear your soul mini quest. Hopefully I have enough health to, uh... Oh, if we don't put Protect from Melee on, that's not going to help our cause with the health too much. Just got to power through the poison now. That is Bear Your Soul complete. <laughs> that is our tour de Tavoli dungeon done with just a few ticks of poison left before we die. The dungeon run may be over, but the quest run is not. I just wanted to run over here quickly and get rid of that poison. But now we're going to head over to Zaya. And while we're here in Piscarillus, we're just going to browse the Warren's General Store. That's an easy diary task. And now while we're in Lovakenge, we're going to make ourselves one strength potion. That'll be another diary task, and that should be the diary complete. Wonderful. Let's go grab that reward. Completely forgot to hit record, but I'm sure you can guess where that lamp went straight onto Herblore. And now we have one, two, three, four, five diaries greened out. Three of the easy ones looking really, really good here now. Just going to quickly swap over to the Arceus spellbook for a little bit. I can't catch a break. Every quest we keep getting interrupted by fights. But anyway, once we get through this rock rap, we're back here to progress with Olaf's quest. So I completely forgot that Olaf's quest also has one of these annoying agility obstacles. I've already failed three times off camera. I just wasn't recording because it didn't it didn't register. That's what was happening this whole time. Oh, and there's four as well. It's already worse than Ikthlorin's little helper. You have to walk so far to get back here as well. It's so annoying. Again and again and again. Oh my... <laughs> Why? Here we go again. Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. At least they didn't get my hopes up that time. Oh my god. Oh, I, was, I was literally holding my breath. The power of silence works. I think I failed that obstacle more than I failed any obstacle in Underground Pass. Damn, that was painful. And that is Olaf's quest complete. 97 quests. Oh, and 44 defense as well. Nice little bonus. We're not done yet though, it's back to a tale of two cats. Now Bob can spawn in a bunch of locations around the map, but a common one is Varric West Anvils. I don't know if it's actually more common, or it's just a confirmation bias that people have, but we're going to go here and hop around worlds rather than run around the map and try to find him. There we go, found him in about half a dozen hops, much faster than running around the map. Let's go on with the quest. And while we're here at Gertrude, we're also going to start up the Rat Catchers quest. And of course, as we always do, going to knock out a couple of diary tasks along the way, starting with chopping a yew tree here for the first step of the diary task. And then we've just got to burn those logs on top of the church, and there we go. Another hard diary task done for Varrock. Okay, we're just down in the Varrock sewers now. We've got to hunt some rats for Rat Catcher. And then, of course, we're going to kill a few more rats as well just by hand for, you guessed it, good old Rag and Bone Man 2. Rat Catcher's done, and we got the rat bone for Rag and Bone Man 2 pretty quickly. Let's move on. Now we're going to talk to Horvik for one small favour. Grab ourselves some furs from Barrack here. I think it's 10 or so we need for the Great Brain Robbery later on. Over to the Apothecary for another step of one small favour. Have a quick chat with Katrine for the Hero's Quest. And then a chat with the Major Zamorak for the Wanted Quest. We've come full circle now in Barrack back to the West Anvils and we're going to smith up some steel items which we need for In Search of the Merc. It's off to Mauritania now to progress with the Wanted Quest. And while we're here, there's a diary task to kill a werewolf in human form. Another diary task to complete a lap of the Kenneth's agility course. 
Oh, hello, collection log. That's interesting how it uh, tells you that you got the mark of grace even though it's on the next lap. But yeah, we'll go pick that up. I guess we're doing two laps then. Killed a few more werewolves for Rag and Bone Man too. Another one to the collection. Get our green dragon hide turned into a leather again. Another diary task. That's four or five now. <laughs> Smashing them out. We're also going to speak to the Slayer Master here for another diary task. And last but not least, kill a banshee in the Slayer task for, <laughs> you guessed it, another diary task. Hey, another skill into the 60s. There's level 60 strength. On top of all those diary tasks, that is wanted complete. Let's keep going. Oh, and a nice little Slayer level off that quest, level 30 Slayer. Next stop is Drain or Metal, and it's time for Ernest the Chicken. And that is Ernest the Chicken complete. That is 99 quests complete and all the free-to-play ones done. The account is coming along really, really well now. Straight into Animal Magnetism next, and it's off to see some more of Mauritania. Okay, let's do a nice big blitz through Mauritania here. We're going to start off visiting the farm for Animal Magnetism and to grab some bones for Ecto Tokens. Worship the Ecto Functus for a diary task and also get those Ecto Tokens for Ghost Ahoy. Start up Ghost Ahoy. Hop into the South Graveyard Fairy Ring for a quick Desert Lizard kill for another diary task plus Rag and Bone Man 2. Back to the South Graveyard, this time to kill some ghouls again for another diary task and Rag and Bone Man 2. Next on the Rag and Bone Man hit list are the bats. Then we're going to go crush a silver bar, which I should have done when I was here before, but I just forgot to bring it with me. Start up in search of the Merc. Catch a ride with Bodhi for the diary task. Got a random combat diary task there, not sure what it was for. Ah, killing a hellhound. I mean, we'll take it, I guess. Finish up in search of the Merc. A quick breather from the Mauritania Blitz, just to appreciate that's our 100th quest complete, which is absolutely huge for the account, but we're still not done yet. Start in aid of the Merc, just keep cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I have no memory of this being a thing when I did the quest in the past. <laughs> My brain must have blocked it out because it's so tedious. I am fighting so hard to help this town. Look at me go. Uh, hello? Buddy? Welp. <laughs> Maybe I need to get the killing blow myself. I guess that's instant karma for not helping out. Whip up a Guthix balance potion for the diary task. We needed to start in aid of the Merc to do that. Multi-quest at the old crone, progressing both Ghost Ahoy and Animal Magnetism in one go. Got ourselves a random collection log item. <laughs> I guess that's why they call them random events. Cook a snail for the diary task. Smelt some cannonballs for another diary task. Hand in Ghost Ahoy. That's a really big one because now the Ecto file gives us a one-click teleport straight to the Ecto Functus. Oh, <laughs> and apparently a diary task as well to go with it. But as I was saying, a one-click teleport here and it doesn't rely on any particular spell book. It's a huge one for our farm runs because it'll give us easy access to the Mauritania herb patch. So another one that we can add to our run. And it's back to Ava who sent us the Mauritania in the first place to wrap up Animal Magnetism. A sneaky little 31 Slayer there, but more importantly, it gives us access to the Ava's devices, which is pretty much a must-have for any sort of ranged content in the game. They'll automatically pick up a percentage of your ammunition as you shoot it out, so it makes it a lot easier to conserve ammo in the long run. Since we're on such a roll, let's knock out a couple more things. We'll poke our head into the monastery and grab another scorpion for scorpion catcher, and then blast Kronazon to infinity and beyond for family crest. That'll be family crest complete as well, we can go grab our gauntlets. We're going to grab the goldsmith gauntlets first, these ones and the cooking ones are probably the most useful, but we'll put these ones in the bank for now. Well, that was all very productive. We powered ourselves all over the deserts as Garnia, Mauritania, and smashed out a bunch of items on the to-do list. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you want to follow along, it really helps me out. Previous episode on screen. Until next time, have a good one guys, see ya!